Another type of function you'll need to be able to differentiate are trigonometric functions. So remember that there are six trig functions. We have sine, we have cosine, we have tangent, and we have their reciprocals. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant, the reciprocal of cosine is secant, and the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. Now, for these functions derivatives, um, it would be the best to just memorize them. For sine and cosine, you're going to have to memorize them. The derivative of sine of x is always cosine of x. And the derivative of cosine of x is always negative sine of x. Those two things you're definitely going to have to remember. You can show these by doing the limit definition of the derivative using the uh, trigonometric addition angle formulas, and that's a really popular test question, so be uh, wary of that. Now the rest of these, remember that cosecant is 1 over sine, secant is 1 over cosine, cotangent is cosine over sine, and tangent is sine over cosine. So if you think about it, knowing these two would lead you to all of these by using quotient rule, or for these, just doing sine to the negative one power and doing the chain rule, for example. But it's probably handy to just memorize them all. Keep in mind, you might have to show it uh, how you do it by quotient rule or something on a test, but just remembering them is going to be certainly handy. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared of x. <clears throat> the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. And finally, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared of x. So these are the six trig functions and their derivatives. Definitely things you should just memorize, uh, but like I said, be aware that at least for these four, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant, you should be able to show how you can come up with these answers by just using sines and cosines.